Hey guys, welcome back to Farm Life with Kids. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my porch where I have all of my fruit trees right now. So this is kind of my fruit tree orchard in containers. And I'm just going to show you what I have going on so far. Okay, so here we're going to start with my Black Mission fig tree. This one I purchased from Lowe's last year. And it did really well. It gave me a couple of figs and they were really tasty. And this year it came back strong after dormancy and it's looking beautiful. This is just my kale, lettuce and Swiss chard going to seed. I'm just going to be pulling that out very soon and putting in some new seeds. Now over on this side I have a peach tree that I purchased from Walmart earlier this season. And when I purchased it, it was in full bloom, so of course it had those beautiful pink flowers. Right now those flowers have died back and the fruit is beginning to show. Right now this is the biggest peach on the tree, but there's several more little ones on every branch. This one here is also a peach tree, but this one was grown from seed, and so it's much smaller than the other one, of course, but it looks really happy and healthy, and it just recently got transplanted into a five-gallon pot. This here is another peach tree grown from seed, and one that I forgot to water constantly while I had it indoors. So that is why it does not have any leaves right now. And it's struggling to come back but I see some new growth so we're gonna wait and keep an eye on this one next I have three orange trees that I grew from seed late last year And down here I have my Mexican lime tree that I bought from Walmart and the blooms are finally opening up uh, back in the video when I filmed it they were still closed um, this one here is the dwarf mayor lemon tree and it's doing great as well this tree in the back is a Eureka lemon that I purchased from Walmart earlier this season as well Lemons and limes are something that I use very often in my household, so the possibility of me being able to pick my very own fresh lemons from this tree is truly exciting. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to show you the rest of my citrus trees. Like this one, they were all grown from seed last year and some of them have put more growth than others for example this one here is the tallest one that i have and the rest of them are not as tall but still healthy and right now i just want to take a quick second to show you how i support my trees so for example right here you can see that i use a stick and twist ties this prevents them from growing crooked and also gives them support against the windy day Okay, so moving on here in the back, we have a beautiful plum tree. This is actually the only plum that I have in the orchard at the moment, but I do plan on starting more seeds this year. This one was grown from seed last year and it's doing beautifully. Next, we have my last citrus grown from seed. This is also a lemon that I grew last year. And this one is different shape than the others. As you can tell, is a lot shorter but a lot bushier, so I really like the shape of this one. Next, I have something that I'm really excited about. Here is my rabbit eye blueberry bush. 
I purchased it on Amazon from Pixie's Gardens and it arrived in beautiful condition with fruit as you can see those little green blueberries there are not fully mature yet but they are there and there's a lot more throughout the bush um, unfortunately in the process of shipping two of the branches broke off and so I just pruned them off and I stuck them in the ground here but really I don't expect them to root or anything I just didn't have the heart to throw them out Overall, I'm really happy with my purchase and I cannot wait to harvest fresh blueberries. Now over on this table, I have a couple of things. In the center, I have some cacti and a succulent that I picked up recently from the store. Um, I still have to go ahead and put them into their containers as you can see that they're still in their um, container that they came from the store um, I'll be transplanting them very soon and also on this table I have quite a bit of avocado seeds that I directly sowed um, into the soil this same method is what I used last year to grow all of the avocado trees that I have today and I will be showing you those trees in just a minute Now down here is where I keep my apple trees. These apple trees are all grown from seed. I germinated them last year using the paper towel and Ziploc method and it really worked out great. When I had my trees indoors for winter, unfortunately the apples did not get a lot of sunlight. So now that they're out on the porch and getting a lot of sun, they'll be breaking out dormancy very soon. In fact, they already started to do that. As you can see here, they're putting on leaves and soon the entire branch will be full of leaves. This tree right here is my only cherry tree in the orchard and just like the apples, it's beginning to break dormancy. And down here, I have two more apple trees that I grew from seed. This next one is a new addition to my orchard. This is a Cidium Wava, also known as a Red Common Wava. I purchased it from Amazon and surprisingly, again, it arrived in great condition. It looks beautiful and I'm really excited for this tree. This one here is a raspberry bush that I purchased from Walmart as a bare root. And as you can see, it is no longer bare and it even threw out a new shoot. Next, we have one of my loquat trees, which I'm really excited about. I know I keep saying that, but I truly mean it when I say that this fruit is really delicious and unfortunately not sold in stores very often. Moving on, we have my blackberry bush. 
This one did get a little stressed out after I took it from indoors to out here, but it does have new growth and I'm really not concerned about it. And over on this side, I have my other low quad tree. And down here, I have two small pomegranate trees that were grown from seed. This is another raspberry that I bought from Walmart as a bare root along with the other one. As you can see, it did get a little bit of sun damage, but the new growth looks very healthy. Now over here, I have a few more new additions to the orchard. These two are new olive trees that are called Olea Europea and I purchased them on Amazon from a seller called Nine Green Box. And from that same seller on Amazon, I went ahead and got some young pineapple guava trees. They were supposed to be a two pack, but I ended up getting bonus trees, which is great. Now here I'm going to begin and show you every single avocado tree that I grew last year. Like I mentioned before, all of these trees were grown simply by putting the seed directly into soil. Last year I recycled yogurt and ice cream containers like this one to grow all of my trees. This year, I transplanted all of my avocado trees into bigger pots. Most of my avocado trees have a really good thickness to the stem like this one. They're really sturdy and stand no problem against a windy day. And this tour is not quite over yet. I have a couple more fruit trees growing in my green room that are not quite ready to come outside yet. Let's go inside and check them out. Here in my green room, I have four banana plants that I purchased from Amazon from a seller called Hello Organics. 
and two more banana plants from a different seller called Eternal Cover. All the banana plants I got look really similar, and both of the sites where I purchased them from say that they are hardy to zone 8, so I'm really excited to hopefully grow these to fruit. And down here I have three more blueberry plants, much smaller than the one I have outside, from a seller called Bonbons Blueberries. And last but not least are my six bare root raspberry canes. These are thornless, ever-bearing red raspberries from hand-picked nursery. Be sure to stay tuned for the video where I'll show you how I will plant these in containers. But for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much for watching and remember to keep on growing.